With XRP prices moving to the downside and in the red today, will prices continue to the downside or will they make a recovery to the upside? Stay tuned and find out. What's up everybody, it's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite channel is back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets, and as you know, we'll be taking a closer look at XRP, and if you're new to this channel and you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for future posts. That being said, you guys, let's get this video to 500 likes, let's let's go, let's go, man. I know y'all could do it, I know y'all like my content, I know what y'all, I know y'all do. But anyway, that being said, let's jump into today's message. <laughs> I got this message. Uh, when I w woke up this morning, it, I just woke up and I heard, is your mind in the devil's playground? Is your mind acting in the devil's playground? Is your, it's like the things that go on in my mind, there's a lot that goes on in my mind from day to day. But there's one thing that I, I want to touch on that I think a lot of people can relate on. And I just actually got done picking up my niece and I, I dropped her off at home. So the thing is, when I drive, <clears throat> I have a big... I I have road rage like I get I, I I'm gonna be real with you guys I still cuss hey I still cuss don't get me wrong I still cuss but I know it's not right to cuss and just because it's you know it, I cuss doesn't mean the Lord can't use me but I'm He's using me as an example to tell you guys how to handle these things because this is what I do when I when I feel, feel the urge that I need to cuss because I'm getting better at not cussing on the road because I, sometimes I just want to get out of the car and just, just pop someone in the face, but I can't do that. I got to stand. I have a standard I need to live up to and that's for the Lord. But anyway, when, when I'm, when I'm driving and someone cuts me off or if someone's really slow, that word, that, that F word or whatever word was to just fly out my mouth. But I remember the Lord. I, I have to remember the Lord. Now I say, okay, Lord, you know what they did to me. You know that they had me upset forgive them <laughs> I have to ask for him for, forgive them because in my mind I, I do want to you know just jump on them but I can't do that I got a standard to live up to but uh when I'm when I'm when I'm about to cuss and all that these are these are situations where the devil starts playing with your weaknesses he looks at what you're weak at where you're weak at because he's like okay I could pick at that Oh, there's a bad driver on the road. <laughs> and that just goes on in my mind. So I have to cancel those, you know, get those thoughts out of my head. Like, okay, Lord, give me self-control in this situation over my mouth. Give me temperance. This a, it's, a, it's a fruit. It's one of the nine fruits of the spirit that we have to have. And it's the uh, fruit of temperance. Or if you're reading, a, uh, if I think it's a NIV version, uh, it's self-control. But temperance is restraint. Self-control is showing restraint over yourself. So when you feel yourself in a certain situation, pray for restraint, pray for temperance, pray for the fruit of the spirit of, so you could have control in that area. Because when it comes down to it, you really don't have that much power as a person. And it's going to come to those days where you're really gonna to have to rely on God to get you through everything. That's why he said, acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct your path. So that's just a small teaching I have for today and a message that I have for today. If the if your if your mind's in the devil's playground, you know, guys, recognize it and fight it as soon as possible. Don't let it dwell, don't dwell in it. Don't uh, you know be stuck in it because then it, it could breed other things that could happen. All right. That being said, today's subscriber shout out goes to Geo XRP. Thank you for being a subscriber, man. I appreciate all my subscribers. I, uh, I just ask if you want a shout out, comment in the comment section. Give me your thoughts on the video. Give me your thoughts on what you think about what's going on in the world. Or just say hello. How you doing? I appreciate that. But that being said, let's jump into the market cap overview and the technical analysis on XRP. Stay tuned. All right. What's up, guys? We are now looking at the coin market cap or the overview of the market. As you see, the market is bleeding right now. I don't even see Bitcoin on here. That's crazy. Where, where'd it go? But anyway, as you see, the market's red. All we're concerned about is XRP. As you can see it right there, XRP is down negative 
3.25% today. Uh, we're at 27 cents, 384 and five. So price has been moving down. So what I see on the markets and what I see on the charts right now, let me go to the charts. What I see, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna show you where we're at on the daily time frame, where we, you see that it pressure. It's a lot of pressure moving down to the downside, but it's immediate rejection, as you can see here. But this is one thing I'm really concerned about on the one hour time frame that I see. Price has been ranging in this bubble here. This in these zones. It's been ranging in these zones. It's not going higher than the zone. It's not going lower than these zones. So th why I'm worried about this, and you'll, it'll make sense when I start explaining this, because when price starts to come down in range, you notice that in the market that it either wants to move lower or it wants to break out. And in this situation, price is showing strong signs that it wants to move down just because it's ranging here. We may get a, a drop, then create a base here, and then another drop. Or what we may get here is a drop, a range, depending on what we get here, because we are in a TK zone. Uh, what, what, what we may get is a move to the upside, which is what I want to happen. Because based on the four hour time frame, there is some res uh, support right here, and, and it's stuck between these two zones. So that's what I'm seeing right now in this market. Uh, I want what I'm hoping for is a push to the upside. The only thing that I, I'm concerned, there's a few things I'm concerned about actually. Right here we have a bearish TK cross, which is showing signs of the market is getting weak and the market may start to range here and then start to trickle lower into the price range down here. So we may get the 26 cents and then continue up higher, or we may just break down and come down to these levels. 24 25 range in here so i'm watching this very carefully but right now it's stuck between these two zones and when price is stuck between two zones that's when you gotta start watching the market very carefully uh let's see i already said if you watched my video yesterday i already said there was bearish divergence as you see price is moving lower uh trend line on the rci is starting to come down Signal line looks like it's coming up. So we may get a bounce and come back up here. Or we just may drop entirely. I, I'm just watching for that. But how I want to play this move, I want to be smart. I don't want to just jump in and make decisions based off uh, what I feel. I'm going based off what I see. You don't trade the market according to what you feel. You trade according to what you see. That's why data. when the data changes, you got to change your perspective on where the market's going to go. So with this situation, what I see here, uh, since we're ranging between these two purple zones, what I'm looking for, let's see, let's go down here. Trend is seem seeming to be weaker. Right now, it looks like we're starting to get some bullish divergence, some hidden bullish divergence. Uh, you see that the oscillator is making higher lows. I said higher lows. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's right. Higher lows. I'm tripping. I'm like, I, I just had a long day today. Uh, it's making higher lows and prices ranging flat. So what we could do is we could see that push to the upside. We do have a C clamp, which is a sign that price may pull back up to this level and possibly get higher. What I want to do before I enter this market, this is how I'm going to trade this. If we manage to break above this level here, this zone here, I will be buying to the upside. If we break below, and actually what I should do here, let me zone this little baby zone right there. So if we break below this level here, I will be in a selling position. If we break here, I'll be even in another selling position. But looking at it, price looks like it is trying to make its way up. Uh, that's all I have to say for this right now, I can probably get rid of this right now. I don't want too many zones on my chart. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this because we've just been ranging in here. But anyway, this is what I see right now that we've been bouncing between zones here. So that's how I plan on playing this market. I want to 
make the smart move and the wisest move. And you see that's showing signs of rejection at, at this level. So we may get a bounce to the downside. So that's something that I'm watching carefully. Uh, best way to trade this will be on the, if you are a trader, trade this on the 15 minute time frame and the one hour time frame and just catch these ranges in here. Catch the range or the breakout of this. Excuse me. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are on this analysis and stay tuned for the next. All right. Peace. Thank you.